Stagecoach, 1939 film, from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia, at www.wikipedia.org. Stagecoach is a 1939 American Western film, directed by John Ford and starring Claire Trevor and John Wayne in his breakthrough role. The screenplay, written by Dudley Nichols, is an adaptation of The Stage to Lordsburg, a 1937 short story by Ernest Haycox. The film follows a group of strangers riding on a stagecoach through dangerous Apache territory. Stagecoach was the first of many westerns that Ford shot using Monument Valley in the American Southwest on the Arizona-Utah border as a location, many of which also starred John Wayne. Scenes from Stagecoach, including a sequence introducing John Wayne's character, the Ringo Kid, blended shots of Monument Valley with shots filmed on the Iverson Movie Ranch in Chatsworth, California, Arkeo Encino Movie Ranch, and other locations. Similar geographic incongruencies are evident throughout the film, up to the closing scene of Ringo, Wayne, and Dallas, Trevor, departing Lordsburg in southwestern New Mexico by way of Monument Valley. The film has long been recognized as an important work that transcends the Western genre. Philosopher Robert B. Pippin has observed that both the collection of characters and their journey are archetypal rather than merely individual and that the film is a mythic representation of the American aspiration toward a form of politically meaningful equality. In 1995, the film was deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant by the United States Library of Congress and selected for preservation in their National Film Registry. Still, Stagecoach has not avoided controversy. Like most Westerns of the era, its depiction of Native Americans as simplistic savages has been criticized as clear evidence of racism. Plot in 1880, a group of strangers boards the stagecoach from Tonto, Arizona Territory, to Lordsburg, New Mexico. Among them are Dallas, Claire Trevor, a prostitute driven out of town by the Law and Order League, the alcoholic Doc Boone, Thomas Mitchell, pregnant Lucy Mallory, Louise Platt, who is traveling to join her cavalry officer husband, and whiskey salesman Samuel Peacock, Donald Meek, whose samples Doc Boone takes charge of and starts drinking. When the stage driver Buck, Andy Devine, looks for his shotgun guard, Marshal Curly Wilcox, George Bancroft, tells him that the guard is off searching for a fugitive. The Ringo Kid has broken out of prison after hearing that his father and brother had been murdered by Luke Plummer. Buck tells Curly that Ringo is heading for Lordsburg, and knowing that Ringo has vowed vengeance, Curly decides to ride along his guard. As the stage sets out, U.S. Cavalry Lieutenant Blanchard, Tim Holt, announces that Geronimo and his Apaches are on the warpath. His small troop will provide an escort to Dry Fork. At the edge of town, two more passengers flag down the stage. Gambler and Southern Gentleman Hatfield, John Carradine, and assertive banker Henry Gatewood, Burton Churchill, who is absconding with money embezzled from his bank. Further along the road, the stage comes across the Ringo Kid, John Wayne, stranded after his horse has gone lame. Even though they are friends, Curly has to take Ringo into custody and crowds him, too, into the coach. But when they reach Dry Fork, the expected cavalry detachment has gone to the Apache Wells. Buck wants to turn back, but most of the party vote to proceed. At lunch before departing, the group is taken aback when Ringo invites Dallas to sit at the main table. Hatfield offers Mrs. Mallory his silver folding cup rather than have her drink from the canteen directly. She recognizes the family crest on the cup and asks Hatfield whether he was ever in Virginia. He says that he served in the Confederate Army under her father's command. On arriving at Apache Wells, Mrs. Mallory learns that her husband had been wounded in battle. When she faints and goes into labor, Doc Boone has to sober up and deliver the baby with Dallas assisting. Later that night, Ringo asks Dallas to marry him and live on a ranch he owns in Mexico. Afraid to reveal her past, she does not answer immediately. The next morning, she accepts, but does not want to leave Mrs. Mallory and the new baby. So she tells Ringo to go on alone to his ranch, where she will meet him later. As Ringo is escaping, he sees smoke signals heralding an Apache attack and returns into custody. The stage reaches Lee's Ferry, which Apaches have destroyed. Curly uncuffs Ringo to help lash logs to the stagecoach and float it across the river. Just when they think that danger has passed, the Apaches attack, and a long chase scene follows, where some of the party are injured, fighting off their pursuers. Just as they run out of ammunition and Hatfield is getting ready to save Mrs. Mallory from capture by killing her with his last bullet, the 6th U.S. Cavalry rides to the rescue. At Lordsburg, Gatewood is arrested by the local sheriff and Mrs. Mallory learns that her husband's wound is not serious. She thanks Dallas, who gives Mrs. Mallory her shawl. Dallas then begs Ringo not to confront the plumbers, but he is determined to settle matters, and as they walk through town, 
he sees the brothel to which she is returning. Luke Plummer, Tom Tyler, who is playing poker in one of the saloons, hears of Ringo's arrival and gets his brothers to join him. Ringo survives the three-against-one shootout that follows and then surrenders to Curly, expecting to go back to prison. As Ringo boards a wagon, Curly invites Dallas to ride with them to the edge of town. But when she does so, Curly and Doc shout to stampede the horses, letting Ringo escape over the Mexican border. Cast Claire Trevor as Dallas, John Wayne as Henry, the Ringo Kid, Thomas Mitchell as Doc Boone, Andy Devine as Buck, John Carradine as Hatfield, George Bancroft as Marshall Curly Wilcox, Louise Platt as Lucy Mallory, Donald Meek as Samuel Peacock, and Burton Churchill as Henry Gatewood, with Tim Holt as Lieutenant Blanchard, Tom Tyler as Luke Plummer, Chris Pin Martin as Chris, innkeeper, Elvira Rios as Yakima, Chris's Apache wife, Brenda Fowler as Mrs. Gatewood, Nora Cecil as Boone's housekeeper, Francis Ford as Billy Pickett, innkeeper, Marga Ann Deaton as Mrs. Pickett, Vester Pegg as Ike Plummer, Joe Rickson as Hank Plummer, Jack Pennock as Jerry, barkeeper in Tonto, Duke R. Lee as the Sheriff of Lordsburg, Chief Whitehorse as Geronimo, Yakima Kennett as Cavalry Scout, uncredited stunt coordinator and second unit director, and Chief John Bigtree as Indian Scout. Production. Development. The screenplay is an adaptation by Dudley Nichols of The Stage to Lordsburg, a short story by Ernest Haycox. The rights to Lordsburg were bought by John Ford soon after it was published in Collier's Magazine on April 10, 1937. According to Thomas Schatz, Ford claimed that his inspiration in expanding Stagecoach beyond the bare-bones plot given in The Stage to Lordsburg was his familiarity with another short story, Boule de Suif, by Guy de Maupassant, although Schatz believes, quote, this scarcely holds up to scrutiny, end quote. Ford's statement also seems to be the basis for the claim that Haycox himself relied upon Guy de Maupassant's story. However, there appears to be no concrete evidence for Haycox actually being familiar with the earlier story, especially as he was documented as going out of his way to avoid reading the work of others that might unconsciously influence his writing, and he focused his personal reading in the area of history. Before production, Ford shopped the project around to several Hollywood studios, all of which turned him down because big-budget westerns were out of vogue, and because Ford insisted on using John Wayne in a key role in the film. Independent producer David O. Selznick finally agreed to produce it, but was frustrated by Ford's indecision about when shooting would begin, and had his own doubts over the casting. Ford withdrew the film from Selznick's company, and approached independent producer Walter Wanger about the project. Wanger had the same reservations about producing an A Western, and even more about one starring John Wayne. Ford had not directed a Western since the silent days. Wanger said he would not risk his money unless Ford replaced John Wayne with Gary Cooper, and brought in Marlena Dietrich to play Dallas. Ford refused to budge. It would be Wayne or no one. Eventually, they compromised, with Wanger putting up $250,000, a little more than half of what Ford had been seeking, and Ford would give top billing to Claire Trevor, better known than John Wayne at the time. Filming The members of the production crew were billeted in Kayenta, in northeastern Arizona, in an old CCC camp. Conditions were spartan, production hours long, and weather conditions at this 5,700-foot elevation were extreme, with constant strong winds and low temperatures. Nonetheless, director John Ford was satisfied with the crew's location work. For this location, filming took place near Goulding's trading post on the Utah border, about 25 miles from Cayenta. The members of the production crew were billeted in Cayenta in northeastern Arizona. Western town scenes were filmed on the RKO Encino Movie Ranch, designed by Academy Award winner art director Max Ree. Reception Following the film's release on March 2, 1939, Ford's faith in John Wayne was rewarded, as the film met with immediate critical and trade paper success. Cast member Louise Platt, in a letter recounting the experience of the film's production, quoted Ford on saying of Wayne's future in film, quote, He'll be the biggest star ever because he is the perfect everyman. End quote. Stagecoach has been lauded as one of the most influential films ever made. Orson Welles argued that it was a perfect textbook of filmmaking and claimed to have watched it more than 40 times in preparation for the making of Citizen Kane. The film made a profit of $297,690. Awards and Honors Academy Awards Wins Best Supporting Actor, Thomas Mitchell Best Music, Scoring Richard Hageman, W. Frank Harling, John Leopold, and Leo Shukin Nominations Best Picture Best Director, John Ford Best Art Direction, Alexander Tuliboff Best Cinematography, Black and White, Burt Glennon Best Film Editing, Otho Lovering and Dorothy Spencer. Others. 
John Ford won the 1939 New York Film Critics Circle Awards for Best Director. Other critics gave the film uniformly glowing reviews. In June 2008, the American Film Institute revealed its 10 Top 10, the best 10 films in 10 classic American film genres, after polling over 1,500 people from the creative community. Stagecoach was acknowledged as the ninth best film in the Western genre. Re-releases and restoration. The film was originally released through United Artists, but under the terms of its seven-year rights rule, the company surrendered distribution rights to producer Walter Wenger in 1946. Many independent companies were responsible for this film in the years since. The film's copyright, originally by Walter Wanger Productions, was renewed by 20th Century Fox, who produced a later 1966 remake of Stagecoach. The copyright has since been reassigned to Wagner Productions through the late producer's family under the Caden Trust, Caden Film Company, the ancillary rights holder. However, distribution rights are now held by Shout Factory, which in 2014 acquired Joomer Productions, Westchester Films, which in turn had bought the Caden Film Holdings after the folding of former distributor Castle Hill Productions. Warner Brothers Pictures handles sales and additional distribution. The original negative of Stagecoach was either lost or destroyed. John Wayne had one positive print that had never been through a projector gate. In 1970, he permitted it to be used to produce a new negative, and that is the film seen today at film festivals. UCLA fully restored the film in 1996 from surviving elements and premiered it on cable's American Movie Classics Network. The previous DVD releases by Warner Home Video did not contain the restored print, but rather a video print held in the Castle Hill Caden Trust Library. A digitally restored Blu-ray DVD version was released in May 2010 via the Criterion Collection. Remakes Radio The May 4, 1946 radio episode of Academy Award Theater had Claire Trevor reprise her role alongside Randolph Scott. The December 7, 1946 radio episode of Hollywood Star Time presented Stagecoach, adapted by Milton Geiger. The January 9, 1949 radio episode of Screen Director's Playhouse had John Wayne and Claire Trevor both reprise their parts. Film The 1966 remake of Stagecoach starred, in alphabetical order, Anne Margaret, Red Buttons, Mike Connors, Alex Cord, Bing Crosby, Robert Cummings, Van Heflin, Slim Pickens, and Stephanie Powers. Television A 1986 television version featured Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, and Waylon Jennings. See also John Wayne Filmography and List of Films with a 100% Rating on Rotten Tomatoes, a film review aggregator website. This audio was recorded June 14, 2019.